Across the country and around the world, women march to call attention to what they see as a threat to their rights under the new Trump administration. Reporter Marcella Ramirez takes us to meet some Arizonans who made the trek mar to march on the Capitol. Hundreds of thousands of people came from all over the country on Saturday to march on Washington, including residents from Arizona. These residents came to show their children the importance of equal rights, including Tony Kolbeck. I felt like it's really important for my girls to experience something, to realize they have a voice and that they need to use it to stand for themselves and to support others. Participants at the march were there in direct response to Trump's inauguration and to voice their concerns on his cabinet's agenda on health care, immigration, and the rights of the LBGTQ community. As a gay woman, as um, you know, someone who believes in the power of women, um, this is just really, really important. Colbeck recalls her experience as being pretty intense, but says it was a positive experience. It was friendly, it was peaceful, which was so important. Sierra Vista resident Johnny Silvercloud attended the inauguration just a day before and said this march was more celebratory. The vibe for yesterday is more about rejecting of Donald Trump. This march is a little more celebratory. Colbeck says that Saturday's march is not the end, but the beginning of more. It's a call to action. The women's march is not a moment. It's a movement. Colbeck will be returning to Arizona tonight along with other women that came to Washington for Saturday's march. Reporting from Washington, Maricela Ramirez, Cronkite News.